Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Reggae of Yourself podcast with me, your house, the future man. And people, I am very, very happy to introduce to you the amazing singing reggae sensation, Kailash. Kailash, how are you? It's, it's an honor to be on your show. Um, I'm doing well. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I must say, that's nice of you, but the honor is all mine. I've been like watching you and following you on social media for a long, long time. And um, yeah, so I'm very happy to have the opportunity to actually, even for myself, to know more about you. So can I ask you, where, where are you from? I'm from San Francisco. Okay. Born and raised? Huh? Were you born and raised in San Francisco? Yeah, yes. Okay, and um, how, how old are you? I'm 10 years old. You're 10. Wow. You're very talented for a 10-year-old, I must add. Um, so what the first thing I want to know is how did you get into reggae music? And also not only reggae music, but the reggae music that you're listening to is like real roots reggae music. What started it? Where did this love come from? You got to hand it uh, to my dad. He grew up in uh key west and he listened to a lot of reggae there so he introduced he was the one who introduced it to me okay and can you remember how old how old you were when you start listening to reggae music basically since i was a baby (laughs) okay so what about the singing though when did you decide that you want to be a singer when did you start singing that happened i think like about two years ago though honestly i've been like singing also since i was a baby but i started to do it professionally about two years ago oh that's amazing and can you think why did you want to start doing that i just love the reggae music and i wanted to be a part of it okay and you're very good at it as well i must add by the way (laughs) um but you listen why do Roots reggae though, because a lot of youngsters love dance soul and the different type of music, but you actually love roots reggae music. Why roots reggae? It's, I mean, like the roots reggae is the music of the people. It's the heartbeat, the boom, boom. Yeah. The Naya Bingi drum pattern. Yeah. It's, you gotta stick to the roots. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that's a very, that's a very good point and that is very conscious um you know um i am very inspired and amazed of how conscious you are i mean you're very humble young man which is amazing which like i watch you on stage quite a lot and i see that you just let the music and the performance do the talking you know which is amazing so you're doing roots reggae and um, you started out, when, first time I saw you, you was, um, you was like doing covers of songs and playing keyboard and stuff like that on Instagram. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you, you learned to play, um, you learned to play like keyboards from a young age. How old were you when you started playing keyboard? I started uh, taking lessons when I was three years old. Wow. Uh, the first time I ever had a keyboard was when I was two years old. Wow. Thanks. Do you play Do you play any other instruments? Yes. I mean, I basically play all of them. My strong suit is keyboard, but yeah. I also play like guitar, bass, drums, of course, singing. Wow. Um, I'm, I'm writing my own songs right now. Oh, wow. That's amazing. So how many songs have you written so far? Uh, five to ten. Well, that is amazing. And you have been recording your own songs, I see as well. Yeah. Do you take um do you take singing lessons and stuff? Because I noticed that you're actually really good at harmonizing your own song. I saw you on Instagram where you're singing a song, but the backing vocals are coming out, which is you doing the harmony as well. So you you understand music like that, keys and stuff. Yeah, yes. That's amazing. So you started um, listening to Roots and feeling it, feeling the drum, the Naya Bingi, and um, you love Roots because it's the heartbeat of the people, which is amazing because that's really what it's about for real. But then 
you're starting to expand over um, social media and like everybody just love you everywhere because I think you are, you. it's very rare, you know? It is very rare to see a young man as you, um, such so young that is like picked up that side of reggae music and is actually really good at it as well. So what's your, what's your, what's your next plan? Have you um, released like your own single before yet or not yet? Yes, I've released three singles Mm -hmm. and an EP and uh um right now I'm working with uh stick figure and Don Carlos yeah so what's what was your very first song that you wrote seems so strange police brutality okay so you see you you your first song is about police brutality what make you write about police brutality well I mean that that was the time when George Floyd died and like there was all this commotion about it and like you'd see people protesting in the streets mm -hmm. and I saw enough of it one day I asked my dad I'm like how I, I want to do that stuff too like how, how do I contribute to this yeah and he was like well you can write a song and so that's what I did <laughs> oh that's amazing did you produce the the back end track for the song as well no okay who produced who produced it for you uh a guy named adrian donson hansen okay and he's also in the u.s as well yeah i think so okay so um three singles and an ep and um then i noticed that you also been um doing a lot of shows with an amazing and incredible legend, reggae artist, Dan Carlos. How did you how did you get to meet Dan Carlos? Uh well, actually, the the first time I met him, like mm -hmm. I I didn't even know I was gonna be performing with him. That yeah. was at the Right Vibes Festival in Santa Cruz. Yeah. And I had played a set with another band before. Yeah. And the plan was just to like stay for dawn set yeah. and then go home. But then halfway through the set, Dawn called me up. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Were you nervous? A little bit, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. But before I ask you more about that, you say you you just did a set with another band before. So does that mean you got you got a band being rehearsing to perform in the festival and things? How long did you perform for? Uh, I only performed three songs. Okay. Was that your first performance? Have you performed anywhere before? I haven't performed reggae anywhere before, mm -hmm. but um, I do study classical piano. Yeah. So I've done a lot of piano recitals before. But yeah. like that, that was the first time I ever got handed a mic on stage with a band behind me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. So then Dan Carlos called you up on stage and um, you went on stage to perform with him. And how did the audience receive that? Did they love seeing you sing on stage? Yeah, I mean, it. I had like the audience knew who I was after I had gone the first time. Yeah, but they weren't expecting me to make a second appearance, so like yeah. the crowd went wild. <laughs> That's absolutely amazing. That's amazing. So then from there, you um, but you have done a lot more gigs with um Dan Carlos since. Yes, I've uh, the next one I ever played after the festival was at the Red Rocks Music Amphitheater in Colorado. Yeah, uh, I mean that that was huge like yeah. the sheer size of the crowd yeah. the size of the rocks just the, the size of everything just like wow <laughs> how many people how many people you think was there like ten thousand. wow that's amazing so were you were you nervous when you go out and see so many people there yeah <laughs> a little bit again <laughs> yeah do you do you get um are you feeling yourself now getting more confident and more used to going out on stage with a lot of people oh yeah yeah mm -hmm. definitely 
But you also been doing a lot of show with um, Don Carlos. It looks like you've done many shows with him now. So does he take you under his wing and said, I'm taking this young man to some shows with me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How many cities do you think you've been so far? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to have to count. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, San Diego. Yeah. Uh, Santa Cruz, San Francisco. Um, LA, Colorado. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. And uh, that, I'm I'm going to Berkeley next week. Yeah. Another is that, show. Is that you're gonna perform with them, Dan Collins, next week as well? Yep. Yeah, that's uh, absolutely amazing. I think you're gonna be one of the biggest reggae star there is at this rate because the thing is you are um. You got a good platform and people love you and you are preaching positive music. You are singing positive song and that is not going anywhere at all. You know, you're singing the right thing. The kind of songs that you're singing is going to live forever. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it's honestly super cool to be making, making this kind of music. <laughs> it is. It is very, very cool. So have you ever performed outside of the, U uh, outside of the USA? Outside, no, no. Okay, but you'd I'd like to one day, I'm sure. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think you. I think you. They would. They would love you in Jamaica as well. You know. You think about think... going to Jamaica? Do you know about any of the big reggae concert in Jamaica? Have you seen any and thinking I would love to sing at this one? Yes. Um. I definitely love. I. I definitely like to take a trip to Reggae Sunsplash. Okay. Have you heard of Have you heard of Rebel Salute? That's the one that uh, most of the rest are going to perform. Um, I think I've watched someone perform there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, Rebel Salute is an amazing one as well. So, were you any other kids that you know at your age that want to go into music and want to sing? What would you say to them? Uh, I'd say. I mean, the first thing you got to do is get yourself a teacher. <laughs> yeah. And then you start learning how to sing. Mm -hmm. And then I honestly think that, like, you should also learn how to play an instrument so that, like, you could start producing your own tracks and stuff. Yeah. And the, like, writing, learning how to write lyrics and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's very good advice. So basically, I want to know, next question I want to ask you is, who is your favorite reggae artist of all time? <laughs> Not Dan Carlos. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to take Dan Carlos out of it. You don't have to say Dan Carlos, <laughs> apart from Dan Carlos, apart from Dan Carlos. OK. Um, I mean, I have, it's hard to pick just one. Like OK, G give me five. Gregory Isaacs, Garnet yeah. Silk. Um, who was I thinking of? Tenor Saw. Yeah. Uh, Nitty Gritty. Mm -hmm. And this doesn't really count as one artist, but I'd put the episode. No, no, no. no. I, I just want some of your favorite artists. <laughs> I just want All some right. of your favorite artists. So, um, so, but basically what I, what I take from that and to anyone listening or watching is the fact that the names that you are calling are all really great legendary reggae artists, like the purest of the purest. Is that how you would like to um, be remembered or viewed when you grow up and get older, continue singing as one of those reggae icon or? I, I mean, my my only hope is just to make music. I mean, mm -hmm. like, if if the fame comes along with it, it comes along with it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, like, I don't personally have a preference. <laughs> okay, so you're um you're doing it for the love and not for the likes, right? Yeah. That is that is very good. That is very good. How would you feel about singing me a cappella of one of your songs? Okay, I mean, I can do it. Okay, thank you. 
um should i just like pick one yes you anyone you want to sing the stage is yours this is for people to know about you and i'm just asking the question so i can know and hear your stuff as well so anything at all you want to sing okay um i just i just finished uh creating this one it's mm -hmm. called let's just sing it mm -hmm. it's dreader than jet it's dreader than jet it's dreader than jet the wise men say it's dreader than jet it's dreader than jet it's dreader than jet the lion say and then the verse mm -hmm. better to think with eye on head seek out the truth or be misled dismiss the fool and praise joy instead some will see what the world don't know the broth is disguised all one don't clean off the glass so you can blow little inside beak yeah that is that is amazing <laughs> that is amazing did you wrote that with help from my parents but yes okay good i mean that's amazing um i'm thinking that's that is quite deep that's that's quite deep it's very positive it's like that's why i was like thinking did you write that by yourself because at 10 years old i couldn't even think it so consciously at 10 years old <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. so, that's, so, so that's amazing so yeah, so your dad, I think your dad is like a massive reggae fan from what I heard and the songs that you listen to. And I think that your dad actually really loved authentic reggae music. Yes, mm. that is correct. What about dance song music? Do you like dance song music at all? Um, I mean, I like, I like Yellow Man. Okay. Uh, artist. Um, yeah. I'd go, I'd go for a little sling tang. Okay, rhythm. a sling tang rhythm. That's a that's a really cool rhythm. <laughs> yeah. Fun. You want to know something? Yeah. I actually have the keyboard that that they use to make that rhythm. You're joking. No. How no. did you come by such a precious piece of uh, equipment? eBay. <laughs> <laughs> they I sold it. it on eBay. <laughs> Somebody sold it on eBay? Yeah. How do you know that it's the real one though? Because, I mean, it's, no, no. It's, it's, it's the real model. It's not the actual one, like the actual one that he used. Okay, okay. But it's the same model? Yeah. Okay. So do you use it to record as well? Is it a good model? Is, I take it it must be like uh, um, probably what, 30 years old now, that model? or more yeah something like that yeah i think i was a schoolboy in jamaica when i remember that rhythm was playing you know i'm 41 now <laughs> so um yeah so that so that's um a great does what do you find about this sound being um in mind that you you can play keyboard any kind of keyboard and classical keyboard as well a piano um, what did what difference to you? What's the difference between using that one, which is like so uh, such a classic um, keyboard, to the like a later one that you're using now? Um, um, I I I don't mostly use that that keyboard like when I'm recording. Yeah. Uh, like I I. I use the keyboards that I have now, like yeah. that, like the newer ones. But yeah. I mean, I can definitely still use a. Okay. Cassette. Yeah. So you have got a lot of fans worldwide. A lot of people believe in you, and a lot of people love you from all over the world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people from all over the world love you and follow you. Like I said before I even know that one day would come where I would be having a conversation with you or interviewing you, I have been following you on Instagram from a long, long time. I was like so amazed. I've never seen, 
I've never seen a kid your age playing keyboard and singing the kind of songs that you were singing and singing in tune as well. This wasn't even the case that you were singing. You was like literally singing in tune, the lyrics and the kind of songs that you were singing. You could tell that you were feeling the music as well. So it's like, it's inside of you. Would, it, would that be fair? Yes. Um, talking about the slang chain thing, mm -hmm. I actually have the keyboard right here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Are you, can you can you play something on it? Yeah, uh, I mean, okay. Yeah, go on. Let's hear it. Anything you want. Okay. This is a song of the old time proverbs. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you you are like you you are so amazing, man. I, I'm so I'm so amazed by you. It's like literally, it's crazy. I am like so amazed by your talent and how good you are. You can sing. You can sing the way you hold those notes and like you make it so simple. Like I think he was born to do this. I think it was not only just what your dad was playing you. Not unless you've been practicing since he was in the home. He literally just came out singing. It's just so natural the way that you sing. It's absolutely incredible. I mean, like, wow. <laughs> um, yeah. So I don't know if you know, you probably you probably don't know who I am, but I'm also a reggae artist myself. You know? Oh, really? I am a reggae artist myself. I go by the name of Da Future Man, which is D-A space F-U-C-H-A-M-A-N. So, you know, I'll send my, I'll send your dad my name so you can check out some of my music. I want to hear you singing one of my songs as well, you know? I want to, right. Yeah, I want to hear you singing one of my songs as well because like I was so impressed the first time I saw you singing all of these songs, I was like, man, I want this kid to sing one of my songs. I need to send this kid one of my songs. It was just like, it's so good. There is absolutely nothing better than when as like from an adult point of view that sing positive uplifting reggae music is that to sing something positive and actually see the kids singing it you know yeah. so one of one of my song one of my song called so much love went viral with um a little 10 year old kid singing it um, a few years ago a song called so much love you know it went viral and i think he got like over 10 million views over um instagram and Facebook and everything so it, it was all over the news and now he got himself a record deal now in the UK and um, you know and he's doing really well for himself and that was so amazing for me and like as an artist it made me know that actually it's good to sing positive song because if I didn't sing a positive song that kid's dad would have not let him sing my song you know what I mean and um, yeah so it's it's an amazing thing to see that you know i want to like wish you all of the love and blessing and success in the world and i think you're on the right part because you're not focused on the fame and the money you're focusing on making music the important part yeah thanks so what is it that you'd like to say to all of these millions of people that is following you from all over the world and watching you on facebook and instagram all the time I appreciate I appreciate all the support everyone's given and uh, I'd like to go like visit all of these places and play shows for you guys sometime. <laughs> yeah, definitely. If you in the if you ever come to the UK, I want to be right there. I want to see that live because I like I said I watch you on the internet where a lot of the shows that you do and it's amazing. And I think it's a real big credit guard to your parents as well, man, for 
introducing you to things like that, you know, to great music and, you know, making you a really great um, the sensation that you are at age 10, you know. So big respect to your mom and dad as well. Big respect to you. I mean, yeah, honestly. <laughs> All right. So before we go, would you like to sing another song for us? Okay. Any keyboard? Uh, Why not? Break out the keyboard again. Oh, wait, no. It's down, it's down there. Uh, let's do, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back to Studio One with this one. Okay. <laughs> oh that's amazing how do you know the lyrics to all of these songs uh i mean that that i think that that one i posted on instagram yeah so i learned it before i recorded it and it's not like it's not like i'm gonna forget any of these yeah but i mean you sing so many songs like so many different reggae songs like some of these songs that you sing, I don't even know the words to them. I know the songs, but I don't even know the words to them. How do you learn? Do you sit down and write them out or do you just listen over and over to remember? Uh, I mean, you know, nowadays you get, you, get, you get the lyrics off of like a lyric site. And then yeah. I, I just like listen to it one or two times mm -hmm. and then uh, get, the, get the rhythm and then record it. So are you very good at remembering lyrics? Yeah. Oh, that's incredible, man. That's incredible. So you're going to send, you were sending a message to all of your fans and stuff like that. And where can people find you if they want to come and uh, watch this interview and then they want to come and like follow you? Uh, if you want to go follow me, my Instagram is Kailash, K-A-I-L-A-S-H underscore Irie. So hmm. I feel like um that that's the main place you should go instagram yeah and facebook what about facebook facebook is just kailash all right are you on spotify and itunes and amazon and all these things yes all of them so they just need to go search kailash and they'll find you yep that's incredible kailash Thank you so much. And I really, really look forward to see what you do next. Just keep it positive as always, yeah? Yes. Thank you. Thank you for having me on the show. It was, yeah. it was a pleasure. You're most welcome. The pleasure is all mine. Thank you. Jobless. <laughs>